and we are certainly going to remain true to our task of connecting you with our viewers this evening and their interests. But before we do so, I'd like to hear from each of you all about your priorities for this particular session. Senator Nesbitt, I'll begin with you. What are your legislative priorities for this short session? Well, I think in the it being a short session, uh, our main piece of business is doing the budget. Uh, we have to make adjustments to last year's budget, and unfortunately this year uh, that adjustment will be downward. Uh, we, we are still not out of this depression we've been in now for almost two years, and it's taking its toll, and we're going to have to work the budget downward. And then I think the next thing is we've got to do everything we can to try to get this economy started and uh, try to get people back to work and get the economy moving. And if we, uh, uh, I think if we stayed on those two topics, no one back home would be upset. Okay, thank you. Senator McKissick, tell us about your priorities for this session. Well, I would agree with uh, Senator Nesbitt in terms of those things that will be primarily focused upon. I mean, I think we're all concerned about the state of our economy. Everybody wants to make sure that our resources are put to their highest and best use. Uh, our stimulus money that we received last year, the last of which we'll be receiving this year, will be running out. Right now, our unemployment rate in North Carolina is hovering about 10.8%. It had gotten up to about 11.3%, so we are improving. Uh, but we want to make sure that we do all that we can to, to help create new jobs in this state and to retain the jobs that we have. And when it comes to education, to make sure that our teachers in the classroom have the resources that are absolutely essential and necessary to carry out their core mission. And likewise for our community colleges and for our universities. We are seeing about a 16% increase in enrollment in our community colleges as a result of the recession. People lose their jobs, they go back there to get re-equipped with skills for, uh, for tomorrow, for the jobs that will be coming. So when it comes to education, when it comes to job creation, job retention, those will be the areas where we'll see the highest focus. The key thing is also looking at to make sure that government continues to provide the core services that are needed for people. While we're trimming this budget, we want to make sure that those that are in need have the services that are needed throughout this state and within their communities. Okay, thank you so much. And Senator Bingham, I look to you with the same question about your priorities. Well, I think <clears throat> there's not a legislator that I'm aware of that is not deeply concerned about jobs because with the loss of the number of jobs that we have, and especially in the area that I'm in, uh, from, Davidson County in particular, Lexington Furniture, Thomasville Furniture, the closure of these numerous plants and thousands of people have lost jobs, retraining and also um, whatever approach we can take to stimulate and, and uh, educate us uh, Senator McKissick has mentioned through the community colleges, et cetera, for jobs because our job is actually easy if we've got a lot of people at work. But when it says it is now, as Senator Nesbitt mentioned, we have no choice but to make some cuts that none of us want to have to face. 